friends in this session we'll understand how to find the future value of single amount let's say we are going to deposit some amount now and what is the value of that amount after 5 years or after 10 years that's what calculating the future value of single amount now we'll take an example say you have 1000 with you and you are going to invest it for 3 years deposit so this 1000 is not going to be with you for 3 years after the end of 3 years you will be getting it but you are going to give this 1000 as deposit with an expectation of earning income on it let's say income is 10 percent and there is going to be an annual compounding what is annual compounding we'll see that here so you are going to part away with 1000 for 3 years for which they are going to give you 10 percent and it is compounded annually it means you will give you 1000 now for year 1 at 10% which will earn 1100 I mean it will earn 100 for you so at the end of the year you will have 1100 so this 1100 will be reinvested this is called compounding I mean reinvesting along with the income earned out of it here the income earned is what 100 and investment is 1000 so 1100 will be reinvested with compounding if there is no compounding what will happen is every year interest will be calculated only on this thousand but if there is a compounding interest will be calculated along with the interest right so for the second year the deposit amount will be thousand hundred and interest will be ten percent so it is thousand hundred into ten percent which will be hundred and ten so the value at the end of the second year will be 1100 plus 100 which is going to be 1210 and in the third year it will be the deposit will be 1210 10 percent interest is 121 so the value at the end of the third year will be 1331 so now you can understand the deposit of 1000 which you have invested at 10 percent for the period of three years will have the value of 1331 so how we have calculated we have calculated by applying 10 percent year after year for three years on the compounded values so this manual calculation would be fine if you have it in small numbers if it is a larger number say it's for 10 years for 15 years with so much of compounding instead of annual compounding if the compounding is done half yearly or quarterly or monthly then it will be different so there is a formula available for calculating the future value of single cash flow we'll see the formula fv future value is nothing but present value multiplied by 1 plus i to the power of n here i stands for rate of interest and n stands for number of years in our case rate of interest is 10 percent and number of years is 3 so and what is the present value it is 1000 so 1000 into 1 plus 10% 10 by 100 to the power of 3 years so this would give 1000 into 1.1 to the power of 3 which would in turn give 1331 so in both cases the value is same which is 1331 so we can calculate future value in this pattern also thanks for watching this video and I hope you like this lecture if you wish to learn more on the areas related to this topic check our comprehensive course I have shared the details and link in the description below. Click sign up and enroll. I'll see you inside the course.